What's going on guys? Welcome to Gunshot Gaming. I'm Tito Rosado and today we're going to take a look at the Razer Kishi for your iPhone. Now let's not waste any more time and find out what's in the box. All right, I've been uh, excited to check one of these out. Now, I originally was going to get the Backbone, um, but I did read recently that it is not working with the new iPhone 13 Pro due to the camera bump being a little too big. Now they've handed out um, some digital files where you can 3D print it, as well as I'm sure they're gonna start giving those away for free in the future. Um, but I have my 13 Pro Max on the way, so I didn't wanna deal with an extra thing. And I've seen a lot of good things about the Kishi and it was on sale. So I figured why not check it out as I've been using just a regular uh, controller with a little grip for the phone, which I'll show that here in a little bit, um, just so you get an idea of what I've been playing with. But let's find out what's inside here. So let's open this up. Okay. Okay. All right. Is that it? Yep. Boom. All right. Put that over here. So you can see, got the controller right there. It looks like, let's take this out. We'll put that to the side for a second. See what else is in here. We got a little guy here. What is this? It look like bumpers or something. Maybe depending on the type of phone, the type of iPhone you have. Yeah. I wonder if these are ones that just go in automatically. You got A, they both say A, okay. Put those to the side. And then here we just got some plastic and a Razer stickers. Yeah, bro. Totally too weird, And it looks dude. like just the Razer Kishi just kind of explaining how to install it, which I'm wondering. So it looks like those little bumpers we got, I think you install those no matter what, I'm guessing. We'll see, I should probably actually read this to know what's going on, but let's get into the main thing here. We'll put all this to the side. Let's take a look at this guy. All right, so we have some, looks like to expand the controller, see reverse side for instructions. So it says pull both of the release latches to expand the controller. So it looks like first we need to take this off. Okay. And let's get this one off. Why is that just so satisfying? Oh, <laughs> all right, that's the latch that you do to take it off. <laughs> okay, so I maybe see why the bump doesn't matter for this one compared to where it probably has a little more give within this just being a different design because it looks like you can have these together and then that clicks in. When it's clicked in, it's just a simple, small thing there. Oh, we got one more. One more we missed here. Last one. Beautiful. Okay, so when you want to open it, you just click these buttons here. Okay, yeah, so you just flick them out, and then boom, you're good to go. All right, so let's, let's try this thing out now. I mean, first impressions, obviously, it feels really good in my hands, but I can't quite get the feel without putting a phone in there. Um, I don't, I'm still waiting for my um, 13 Pro Max to get here in the mail. Obviously, I'm filming with my 12 Pro Max. Um, so let's um, try it out with one of my older work phones. I'm wondering if it worked with a case. Let's find out. So does it go in just, I don't think so. I think this is something you have to do with no case. At least that's what it feels like. All right, let's see here. This is a this is older 10S for reference. Slide it into there. Slide it into there. And then do you do anything else? Or is it just, just good to go? Wow. Okay. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it's, that's, that's legit. It's, it's a little switch in a sense. And it feels so much better to be looking and holding like this within the way that you are like oriented compared to like, you know, using it just like a switch. Like obviously this controller feels like even better because it has more for your fingers because you still got your triggers. You got the bumpers up there and you got every other button you need over here. The analog sticks feel real good. 
much, honestly much better than the Switch analog sticks. Boom. Um, Roasted. But I'll have to actually really put this thing to the test. I'm wondering if these bumpers, once again, are for some specific, if you have to use them, if you have like a smaller phone or something, removal, installation. So it says here, rubber grips, pre-installed. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So right now I have rubber grips B installed, which is for the 10, 10s max 11 11 pro max and then you have to go to the rubber a grips if you're going to use just the regular 10s or the 11 pro so the 11 pro but the 11 pro max are, it's odd how those work but hey i guess they know what they're doing there um i have seen some stuff online of people being able to use the kishi with the new 13 pro max once again this is the reason why i went for it i didn't want to have to 3d print something or get another piece for it i wanted something that's going to be good to go with the max especially just you know with that huge screen it's going to be just amazing to play games but once again first impressions buttons feel good and clicky analog sticks is what feel really good right here Honestly, I feel like, yeah, it feels like secure. It doesn't feel loose in there. I think with the Max, it's gonna feel even better because it's bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> um, but I'll, uh, I'll be actually testing this out and giving a full review of exactly what I think about it, if it's something you guys should purchase or not. Um, but I'm so excited to play this because I've been playing a lot of like a, uh, Xbox streaming and like when I'm in bed like before I go to bed um, be just playing a little bit there and I'll show you the way I have been playing which has been with this guy here so for example I've been using this and you know you would think this would be like the best way to go because it's like yeah I have a full controller but the orientation of putting the weight of your phone here just doesn't feel good. No matter how I move this thing and angle it, I've tried all sorts of different ways and moving it all around. It just never feels that comfortable, especially too, like when I'm in bed, I, I kind of had to play it like up like this compared to where I wanted to be like laying down, playing it like that, where it's just not comfortable. But with this, with the Kishi, I feel like that's exactly what I can do. Just like when I play my Switch, I can be laying down and doing whatever I need to do. So uh, with xCloud, this is going to be the xCloud machine in the future. So super excited for that. But thank you for joining me for the unboxing. Like I said, um, I will do a full review on it to let you know if it's something I think you should purchase. But if you don't want to wait on that, I'll have some links in the description down below of some places where you can purchase the Kishi. Um, but appreciate you checking out the video and have a great rest of your day. Ha! <laughs> Come on.